coming? What are you working on? A broken can from out there right next to the bikes. Okay. And then, no! Okay, so what we're doing here, we've got a 2.6 rod yeah. and piston, yeah. and we are going to be installing rings. Okay. okay. You look at the top of these pistons, and you'll see that they're stamped if they're factory. Piston cups. All right. A. Right. Sorry. That one's got an A. B. I was right there. Yes, you're right. A. B. That corresponds to the size of the hole that they put it in, and I'll show you that some other time on a block. They're all bored and honed, and then measured, and then all of the pistons that are manufactured are yeah. are cast and machined and then measured and they're stamped with an indication of what their size is and that's matched with the bore size of the block. If you look at the side of the rod and rod cap where the bearing keeper part is, you'll see this one says B and it looks like that is a 1. This one says B four. Yeah, then there should be a matching four on the bottom also. So you've got one and four, three, two. Is yeah, that yeah, yeah. That's the only one that's going to be left, buddy. Two. Okay. Okay. What we're looking at here is the Zuzu factory service manual. This shows the top of the piston. Okay. It'll say front mark here, and they're talking about this mark right here, showing that this goes to the front of the motor. You've got a first compression ring and a second compression ring. These are the gaps that correspond. So on this piston right here, you'd have first compression ring gap here, second compression ring gap up here. And the oil ring is three parts made up of the uh, upper side rail, lower side rail, and then that expander in between. New rings should be labeled first compression, second compression, and oil. These are the ones that are kind of funky looking. First and second compression are just kind of normal metal rings with a gap in them. Utah, stop wasting water. Sometimes you'll see a mark on these. Um, this one looks like it says an N on it. This is the upper, the number one compression ring. Looks like it's stamped with an N. Um, that'll go up. Okay, so I've come out here to the uh, engine block and I've taken the first compression ring and put it down cylinder number two just to make sure that it's the right size and check that gap. And uh, here is the second compression ring also just inserted to check the cap. There you go. You're welcome. Unless you read in your ring kit. Otherwise, all eight of these are the same. And the four of these are the same. There you go. Thank you. Okay, so the way I do this, according to the diagram, there you go. front of the motor, mark up. Get your oil ring expander. Slide it down. The brake. And the oil rain expander right there should be at nine o'clock. Upper side rail will go in with the brake about here, and then the lower side rail will go in there. So it's like uh, six thirty and ten thirty. Oil rings installed on the piston with the expander broken here, and the lower side rail here, and the upper side rail here. Yeah. Hi, Tata. The upper and lower compression rings with the uh, lower compression ring brake here and the upper compression ring brake 